What's up and everyone, my name is Pavel Trusov, now it's 4 a.m. Bratislava bus station and we're gonna visit Ericsson Samuel in the Sweden, Gothenburg. Our first bus to the Vienna, from Vienna we have direct flight to the Gothenburg and there we'll make a history. Let's fucking go follow us and see what's coming. Alright, we are going through the online registration, through the check-in. Oh, now we're in the duty-free and our next station is the plane. Let's see you there. Finally, we arrived to the Sweden, to the Gothenburg. The um, city looks absolutely amazing. So much European, so much wonderful. We see the streets, we see the old style, old-fashioned style of the main part of the city and now we're gonna meet Ericsson Samuel we're already going to his hotel to be honest with you this person for me is more than just fighter this person was inspiring me on my first steps on the Instagram and I was looking for the any crazy kickboxing videos that this guy was impressing me with his kicks with his mind-blowing punches absolutely amazing absolutely explosive fighter I'd like to ask him questions about his upcoming fight in the Miami so soon how he's preparing about some secrets of his competition preparation let's see what he's gonna say us maybe some secrets maybe he'll spill the beans about his explosiveness and we'll try to train together do all this yeah over movement and yeah. then we do taekwondo sparring it's like ah, i do many yeah. knees yeah, 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 and yeah. i want to do body parts yeah, 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 and one of the hooks yeah, yeah. hooks like people maybe would like we have to record all of them yeah, yeah just yeah, yeah that's we'll just like in 10 bro yeah in real life situation exactly. yeah exactly exactly work work Three. 73 so we can do 70, 73, 85, and then him, 100, 10. I take a body punch from each, so I just stand, yeah. he come, boom, uh -huh. and then go. Faster, faster, go! Shoot, 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 I'd like to ask Ericsson, you know, like uh, some questions and I'd like to open him also as a person for you because you can see here that like uh, his crazy high kicks, his explosiveness, but like uh, <laughs> But you know, like uh, nothing about him as a person, but like uh, I'd, act, I'd like to ask, you know, like uh, What is the most important thing in the person you really appreciate? You mean for myself? No, no, I mean like in the person, if you meet like some person, some colleague, oh, some okay, like your yeah, friend, yeah. mate, like uh, what things in the, like uh, I'd say in the man is exceedingly important? You know, to skip all these boring answers, if they are nice, blah, 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 whatever, obviously they need to be, you know, the energy needs to match, but I feel that uh, I match with the person that has, uh, like they have big goals, you know, they need to achieve something. So for myself, I wake up and I try to always, um, I make things happen for myself and uh, I have a lot of different projects aside from the martial arts and the fighting so I think when I meet people I want to know what they what they do um, of course it's a plus if they are training you can meet each other in a, you know on that interest too but what do they do what do they work with uh, two years three years five years you know so uh, I think it's easy to create long-term relationships in that way because uh, if you meet someone that doesn't really have any dreams or goals or don't really it, do not really know what they want it's hard for me to kind of you know match up with that energy what's your the biggest motivation in the sport I just think it's nice I've been training for so long so it's like I don't want to lose the the stuff I've built up like everything I know and how I train and all the time you put in on training long before this wasn't even a thing you don't want to waste it so that's why you know you keep going to improve exposing the sponsors to the session this guy made made different you know this guy has another blood you'll see explosiveness you know like the kicks damn it i'm in danger i'm in danger It really looks good, but he said he can do it much better. Let's give him a chance and then we'll beat his ass. Just wait. 12 rounds sparring, 3 minutes, 35 minutes of sparring. No gloves, outside. See you Saturday. I see you Saturday. <laughs> see you Saturday. You know the date, you know the place. 
for the next one I'd like to ask you what does mean to be a fighter for you because like I think like uh, for like uh, for everyone for the each man each man ha has to try to be in the ring at least once in the life mm. like uh, you know like uh, try to reveal for me information about like uh, what does mean for you to be a fighter I do the fighting because of the because of the challenge so basically I'm not really fighting because I need to prove anything to anyone except for myself so that's how it all started so when I when I first started to fight uh, I just wanted to see how it was and now I kind of like made it a career I can make a living out of it but I still do it you know for myself so even if there is like a a thousand people beside me say that you should keep fighting if I don't want to I won't I, I won't I won't fight so it's just you know for myself and that's that's my main reason to fight and I think that's the most healthy uh, view to to look at the fighting for me that I don't have to but I want to and if I don't want to I just I leave it you know like because then maybe you do jump cross hook chuk 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 tuk 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 boom aha exact boom 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 you start. For the last one, I'd like to ask you, what's your the main goal as a fighter, and what's your the main goal as a man mm, as for a the next years, let's say. Let's say for the next three years, I hopefully can uh, do a few successful fights, uh, become a great name uh, in karate combat. You know, I see a great career in that organization. I really like what they do. I feel that I really belong in that organization and uh, I feel that my skill set is made for that. So hopefully in three years I might have, I'm coming for 3-0 now in one month, maybe in three years I, maybe I have 7-0, you know, as a professional. Um, as, a, as a man, like personally, I want to keep on doing my businesses. Uh, I have some businesses, some projects on the side, like I said, and uh, hopefully they can when I, when I decide to not fight anymore, I can just jump over on those projects and make a living out of that and just keep on training, maybe teach, maybe do workshops or whatever. Did you try to be a coach? Did you try to provide some sessions for the people? I did a few years ago. I had classes and stuff. I worked in the gym Yeah. Uh, a few years ago. But uh, right now I don't have the time because I feel that I need to put all the time on myself and the projects I do. Because when you're a coach, you need yeah. to be able to put all of your time on others. And right now, I just feel that much of my time goes to my work, yeah. business, and my own training. So it's not fair to me. It's not fair to others to yeah. kind of let them to have me as a coach when I can put their best and their health and their training 100% of my time. You know, like when I like mention you. You know, like uh, in my days with like my students, my mates, you know, like uh, almost like everybody knows you, right? Yeah. And everybody mentioned you as a as an explosive fighter. Like yeah. please, like a like a spill the beans of your explosiveness, right? Because is it is it a talent or like you born with this or you train this? You know, like especially. I mean, I've always been explosive, so yeah. it's, not, it's it's something that I've always got, obviously. Yeah. So it, it's not like uh, I didn't have to train it from like zero yeah. that I didn't have it at all but I was at the same time obviously I need to train it I need to do things to always improve uh, because it's like everything if, if you have if you have a talent if you have a gift you cannot only be good to a certain level right after that you need to put in work you need to train you need to do all these things all these details to make it you know yeah, <laughs> you know the higher the level, yeah. the, the what to say the the smaller the the path, right? Yeah, so yeah. if 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 I were to never try to improve my speed or my way of being explosive, I would probably be be decent fast anyway. Yeah. But now I do all these drills and I try to keep up with the you know with the training and I try to adapt. So when I have a fight, I train my speed in a certain way, and when I don't have a fight, I train it different. Okay, so. But yeah, I've always been explosive, but I, I put in work, you know, regularly to, to be more explosive. Yeah. So
Guys, uh, for me that was like a big pleasure, you know, like and a big honor to meet like a this champ here in in Sweden. Uh, in our Instagrams, you can find our crazy post, explosive work, extreme motivation for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, check out this on our Instagrams. You can find them in the description of the video. Follow us. And one more time, Eric, thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming. Nice to meet you. Always. And we'll do this one more time later.